to bring the Christmas joy to our family and friends. We love them opening the gifts that we purchased them. So as we're shopping, we end up becoming Oprah. We're like, you get a gift, you get a gift, you get a gift, you get a gift. Everyone gets gifts. But in reality, we aren't Oprah. We aren't billionaires like Oprah, so we have to be more realistic about our Christmas shopping budgets. So I'm going to share with you a few of my tips and resources that will help you to shop for Christmas on a budget so that you can experience the Christmas joy. You won't be like Oprah, but you also won't be like Scrooge. Hi, I'm Shayna of The Well 5 and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. The holiday season is upon us and I absolutely love Christmas. It is my favorite holiday and I love the gift giving that goes along with it. And as much as I would love to have Oprah's bank account, I do not have Oprah's bank account. I have Shayna's bank account and I cannot afford to spend a lot of money on Christmas similar to you. And so I'm going to share with you my tips that will help you to reduce your spending during Christmas but give your loved ones the gifts that you really want them to have. And this is a time where a lot of people end up getting into credit card debt. And so we obviously don't want to get into credit card debt because we want to start the new year off in a great financial position but we also want our friends and family to enjoy the gifts that we give them during Christmas. So if you're ready for the tips that I have that will help you with your Christmas shopping budget, go ahead and give this video you a like and then we'll get right into it. The holiday season is all about giving but we tend to think about giving material items that we have to spend our money on. So I'm going to challenge you to think about giving in a different way. So if you've ever heard of the five love languages, you want to take a moment to really think about what is the love language of the person that you would love to give a gift to because their love language might not actually be receiving gifts. Their love language could be words of affirmation or quality time or acts of service and you might want to give them a gift that really aligns with the things that they value and they will love you even more if you give based on their love language. Now that you've spent some time thinking about the love languages of the people that you want to give to, it's time to create your Christmas spending plan. Hopefully you've been able to narrow down the list of gifts that you'll actually purchase because you spent a little bit of time thinking about how you can give through acts of service or words of affirmation or the love language that applies to your loved one. So now we're going to create our Christmas spending plan. And a lot of times people do not think about their Christmas spending plan from a holistic perspective. With your Christmas spending plan, you're going to consider several different things. The first of which is going to be how much you're going to spend on gifts. My suggestion is that you will come up with a list of people that you probably want to give a gift to. And then you're going to start thinking about how you're going to prioritize this budget that you set for Christmas gifts based off of that list of people. So you'll want to not only order the people in the rank of, of a priority that you want to give a gift to, but you'll also want to start to assign a dollar amount or even a percentage of your budget. And then you'll see that after you prioritize how much money you want to spend, you might realize that you don't have enough money to give to everyone. And so that will help you to think through how much money you can realistically spend on each person based off of your priorities and how important it is to give a gift to those people. Then the next step in prioritizing, I will start to assign a value to that person. So that value could either be a percentage of your budget for Christmas shopping or it could be the actual dollar amount that you want to spend on that person. And you will go through the list prioritizing adding a value to that person's gift and you'll keep doing that until you run out of money or you reach 100%. There are so many people that we all want to give gifts to, but it's really unrealistic to be able to give every single person in our lives a gift. So you want to consider how to do group gifts. So one way that you can do that is to give one gift to multiple people. So for example, you might want to give your parents a gift. So naturally you might have wanted to give your mom and your dad a gift, but instead you'll buy one gift for your parents collectively. 
You also want to consider how you can give a group gift with other people. So if you have other siblings, you all might decide to put in a little bit of money to be able to buy one gift to your parents collectively. So those are ways that you can save money and be able to give gifts to the people that you love. People sometimes tend to forget about all the events that happen during the holiday season when it comes to their Christmas spending plan. So you'll want to consider all the work holiday events that are happening for you and your spouse or anyone else that might be inviting you to a holiday work event. You also have your friends events like the ugly Christmas sweater parties and you also have the Christmas dinner as well and especially if you're hosting Christmas dinner that's going to be a large portion of your Christmas spending plan. If you're interested in a Christmas spending plan you can check out the link down in the description box and I'll have a Christmas spending plan that you can check out so that you can get your finances in order and cover all the different aspects of Christmas spending. If you've ever watched one of my videos Videos before you're probably not going to be surprised that I'm going to suggest that you put money aside so that you can spend for Christmas or the holiday season. I like to recommend that people put money aside for their sinking funds in a digital envelope or in a cash envelope. If you are interested in how to create cash envelopes you can check out this video right here. But I love digital envelopes because all you do is transfer money over to an account based off of the budget that you set for your Christmas spending plan and then whenever you go to spend at the store you can swipe your card as normal and the money will come from that account or that digital envelope that you've created. There are several ways that you can set up your digital envelopes for your Christmas spending plan. I recommend Capital, Chime, or even using bank accounts like Capital One 360 or Simple Bank to create your digital envelopes. And I have links down in the description box for all of those resources where you can create your digital envelopes. And many of them also provide bonuses that will give you a little bit of money to fund your digital digital envelopes account and so that will give you a little bit more room to spend. A lot of people end up procrastinating when it comes to their Christmas shopping because we're doing so many things during the holiday season and so it's natural that it ends up becoming low on the priority list and then it ends up being the day before Christmas and you're like oh my gosh I have not shopped but you should definitely shop early. The reason why you want to shop early is because you can see all the deals that are available for you and it will avoid you being stressed out when it comes to shopping and when you are shopping in a more calm and peaceful manner you're able to save a little bit more money because you're not randomly just buying things and not really thinking about the amount of money that you're spending related to the things that you're buying. There are many websites out there that are acting like Oprah because they're giving cash back to everybody. And so you wanna make sure that you are utilizing these cash back sites like Rakuten. I have been using Rakuten for several years now and I have got cash back for a lot of my purchases and I have been able to get hundreds of dollars in cash back by using Rakuten. And it's so simple to use. It's almost like unbelievable <laughs> that it's so easy to do and get cash back. All you have to do is sign up for an account using the link down in my description box. And then when you go to make a purchase online, the Rakuten alert will pop up on your screen to let you know that there is a cashback offer related to this website. And I have seen cashback go upwards to 10 to 12%. But on average, the cashback is around 3 to 4%, but every dollar counts. It's really great to be able to save money on your overall spending during the Christmas season. So if you're interested in checking out Rakuten, I'll have a link down in the description box. And the cool thing is not only will you get cash back, they also offer a sign up bonus. So the first time you make a purchase using Rakuten, they're going to give you a little extra money on top of the money that you're saving. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're using Rakuten when you shop 
online, you avoid all the temptations that there are when you're in a store because you end up seeing things that you never would have thought about if you were shopping online and then you're like, oh, I actually should buy that. And you end up putting a lot of things in your cart. So if you've ever been to Target, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You go into Target for that one thing, but because you have to walk through all the aisles and you see all the wonderful things at Target, you end up leaving with a basket full of things. So my suggestion is that you try to shop online as much as possible because once you have your Christmas shopping list, then you can be very strategic about your shopping and you can avoid all the wandering eyes and the temptation to put a lot of things into your shopping cart. Shopping online also helps you to shop by yourself and it will save you lots of money. Because if you have kids, you already know that anytime you go shopping with them, they are like, give me, give me, I want, I want, I want. And then you end up feeling guilty or you feel that temptation to give them what they want and you end up spending more money. So if you shop online, you don't have to worry about other people influencing your budget either. There are tons of ways to save money during the Christmas shopping season. So you wanna make sure that you are finding those deals. And if you are shopping early, the best way to take advantage of deals is by shopping during Black Friday. As you know, Black Friday is one of the biggest shopping sales of the year. And so lots of stores are providing massive discounts. And as a matter of fact, I have tons of merch that I'm watching during Black Friday that are related to saving money, building wealth, and all of those things that I talk about here on this channel. And I'm offering a special discount for Black Friday if you enter the code Black FRI30 in the promo section, you'll be able to get 30% off of your order and you'll get free shipping. So I have apparel and I also have ways for you to budget not only during the Christmas season, but also throughout the year so that you have lots of money to be able to build well. But like me, other retailers are offering massive discounts during Black Friday, on Small Business Saturday, and on Cyber Monday. So you wanna be on alert for all of those deals that could be happening. In order to get deals, you also wanna do some comparison shopping or to get alerts on the things that you want to buy when they are at their lowest prices. You also wanna make sure that you're using apps and checking the social media of the stores that you're interested in. Many times they're gonna have deals if you shop online or you shop using their app or if you are following them on their social media pages, they will have special deals just for you. Another way to get deals is to look out for purchases that come with free gifts. That's a great way to not only save money, but also to get multiple gifts that you can give to several people on your list. You'll also wanna be very creative when it comes to getting those deals. So you might wanna create multiple email addresses to break up your transaction into multiple different orders. You might also want to shop using a private browser because those cookies that they enable when you go on to sites might limit the deals that you're able to see. But you wanna use all of these strategies to make sure that you're getting the best deal possible during the Christmas shopping season. When it comes to gift cards, some people are like, it's a lazy way to gift, give, and then other people are like, it's super brilliant because you don't have to spend a lot of time thinking about a gift. But I'm gonna give you a different way to use gift cards. So you'll want to buy gift cards at a discount for yourself and then use the discount that you've gotten from your gift cards and buy a physical gift for the people that you want to gift to. So there are several ways that you can buy discount gift cards. Some retailers will offer discounts on gift cards during the Christmas season. So for example, Target tends to offer a deal on their gift cards in December. So you'll be able to buy gift cards at a discounted rate and then use the gift card to buy the gifts for the people that you wanted to on your list. So in essence, you're spending less money on the gifts because the money that you're using has already been discounted. So it's a genius way to be able to use gift cards. Don't be bashful about re-gifting. So sometimes you might decide to re-gift a gift card, for example. Let's say you've got a gift card before and you haven't used it. You want to use that gift card then to purchase gifts for people. So that's a way of re-gifting. Or you can re-gift items that you actually don't use. So sometimes, let's be honest, we'll get gifts from our co-workers or from someone that doesn't really know us 
And we might say, you know what, this is a gift that someone in my life actually would enjoy much more than me. And so it's a perfect opportunity to re-give to someone and then you don't actually have to spend any money. Here's a tip that's gonna help you with your Christmas spending for next year. So after you've done all of your spending for this year, you wanna sit down and figure out how much money did you actually spend on gifts, decor, and events. And then you'll want to take that amount of money and budget it for your Christmas spending for next year. So I talked a little bit earlier in the video about sinking funds. So that's exactly what you should do. You want to set aside a little bit of money every single month to be able to be prepared for Christmas spending next year. So that way you won't be worried about using a credit card or having to eliminate some of your necessities just to be able to spend some money during the Christmas season. I hope that you enjoyed those Christmas spending tips and that you're motivated to get your personal finances in order. So you'll want to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you can see more of my personal finance videos. And make sure that you check out this video right here so that you can get a head start on those singing funds for next Christmas. Thanks for watching.